After centuries of mystery, the lost tomb of Pharaoh Ramses II has finally been found, not by man. This time all the credit goes to AI. That's right, the long lost tomb of Pharaoh Ramses II. Egypt's legendary ruler once thought to have vanished forever has finally been traced by algorithms with the mind of archaeologists. The granite slab that changed history. Okay, rewind. Not 3,000 years ago, not just yet. Back in 2009, this is the year when archaeologists found a large chunk of granite under the floor of a Coptic Christian monastery in Abydos, a quiet city in east-central Egypt. No one would suspect anything here. At first glance, it looked like just another artifact buried under the clutter of ancient Egypt's leftovers. I mean, can't blame the archaeologists for the initial conclusion. The country is basically a 24-7 antiques roadshow. But earlier this year, Frédéric Peyrodeau, an Egyptologist and researcher at Sorbonne University in Paris, decided to give that little discovery a second glance. And what he discovered was anything but normal. While taking a better look at the worn-out, torn, and tattered inscriptions on the stone, Peyrodeau realized that this wasn't some random coffin fragment. It was, in fact, a missing piece. It just keeps getting more interesting from here. Hang on. This was the missing piece of the original granite sarcophagus of Ramesses II. And for those of you who are clueless about who the guy is, we're only talking about the greatest pharaoh ancient Egypt ever produced. You know, the guy with probably the most temples, statues, and more propaganda than some modern politicians. You could still see the sheer scale of this man's ego is still from space, quite literally, if you've ever seen Abu Simbel. But obviously, this find didn't come wrapped in golden linen inside a booby trap pyramid. That would have been cool though, but a little too cinematic to be true. But here's where the mystery begins. It was hidden beneath the church floor. Why would they have possibly thought that was the best place to bury the greatest pharaoh of all time? Because the ancient Egyptians weren't the only ones who had to deal with tomb robbers. Around 200 years after Ramesses died, a priest named Menkaperi apparently decided, hey, why let good granite go to waste? And reuse the pharaoh's coffin for himself. If you were expecting something a little more dramatic, I hate to burst your bubble. But damn, this guy even had the audacity to chisel his own name over Ramesses' cartouche. What did he think it was? Some kind of divine recycling bin? For historians, this probably isn't very different from finding the lost ending to a movie you'd already watched a dozen times. Everyone knew Ramesses had been buried in the Valley of the Kings in a tomb known as KV-7, and they also knew that his mummy was moved in ancient times to protect it from robbers, because obviously a wealthy country is going to have a ton of robbers. In 1881, that same mummy was discovered in a secret royal cache alongside other famous rulers and has since been on display in Cairo. But the granite sarcophagus, the very box built to hold the physical remains of Egypt's ultimate king, had just disappeared. Vanished into thin air from the story to the point that people almost started to believe more in the possibility that it did not even exist. Until now. Now is where everything changes. Pharaoh's AI autopsy. Dramatic enough? We're only getting started. And just when you think this saga couldn't get more dramatic, enter artificial intelligence. And just like that, after years and years of only speculations, modern researchers may have finally cracked the case. Scientists used CT scans of Ramesses II's actual skull, combined with AI-powered facial reconstruction technology to recreate his face. That's one more reason to be grateful about AI, don't you think? I mean, who would have ever thought we'd be unraveling history's biggest unsolved mysteries with the help of an algorithm? Anyway, the plan was to recreate his face both as a wise old king at 90 and as a youthful ruler in his prime. And you wouldn't believe what they came up with. The results were stunning. Drumroll. This was like an archaeologist's dream come true. Ramesses didn't just look good for someone who's been dead for three millennia. He looked like someone who could walk onto the set of a movie and steal the entire show. Think we're kidding? Take a look already. I mean, could there be a better fit for the guy than this? The line between modern science and magic is so blurry these days because it's just too fascinating to be true the things that it can do. For centuries, pharaohs were depicted in stiff stone carvings or gold death masks that barely looked human. But now, thanks to digital wizardry, we can see Ramesses as a real person. Strong jawline, beautiful intelligent eyes, a bit of royal flair, you name it. Everything you'd want to see in a royal offspring. Even the experts were taken aback by how vivid and lifelike the reconstruction turned out. 
It was almost as if His Highness traveled and made an appearance himself. And if you're wondering how he aged, let's just say, for someone who lived to 90 in 1200 BC, the man held up pretty well. Guess being from the royal family does pay off when it comes to looks. The AI didn't just give us a face, it gave us a connection. Suddenly, this legendary ruler wasn't just a distant god king towering over us from temple walls. He was human again. You could imagine him walking through his palace, scolding his advisors, or maybe just enjoying a cup of beer. Yes, beer was the real deal in ancient Egypt. It's the kind of breakthrough that makes history feel alive instead of locked away in dusty museum cases. How the greatest king of Egypt got recycled. But don't let all this high-tech wonder distract you from the irony. Ramesses II, who spent his lifetime building temples to his own greatness, who demanded to be remembered as a living god, who carved his name into more monuments than anyone in ancient history, had his coffin turned into someone else's hand-me-down. That's what we call a pathetic ending to a great story. And worse, it was buried under a Christian monastery for centuries, used like a structural support beam. Talk about posthumous humility. Out of all the places he could have been buried, his greatness was hidden away under the temple of another god. Probably not what the greatest pharaoh saw coming. Now, in case you're new to Ramesses II, here's the short version of his royal resume. He ruled Egypt from 1279 to 1213 BC during the 19th dynasty for a total of 66 years. That's practically unheard of. He was a military leader, a master builder, and a PR genius who made sure his face appeared on everything from temple walls to statues the size of small office buildings. Because if there was one person who admired his face more than anyone else, it was this guy. He also signed what is believed to be the world's first recorded peace treaty, fought major battles, including the famous Battle of Kadesh, and had enough children to start a small nation. Think we're joking? The guy had over a 100 offspring, give or take. So yes, finding a piece of his original sarcophagus isn't just exciting, it's monumental. Or even that could be an understatement. It gives us a deeper understanding of how these ancient rulers were buried, how their tombs were constructed, and how their legacies were manipulated over time. Apparently, not even a pharaoh could escape the ancient equivalent of someone stealing your gravestone and carving their name on it. The sarcophagus fragment is still stored in Abydos for now, but experts are hopeful that it will soon be moved to a museum where the public can admire it, like actually adore it, not just as a block of stone, but as a rare piece of a massive puzzle. Let everyone see it as a reminder that the past is never really lost. It's just waiting to be discovered again, often in the most unexpected places. And the world just keeps proving that over and over again. This discovery also highlights the way archaeology has evolved. A hundred years ago, uncovering a pharaoh's tomb meant digging through sand, brushing off bones, and hoping the walls didn't collapse on you. Now, it means analyzing inscriptions, using CT scanners, running 3D modeling software, and working side-by-side -side with AI. And of course, the memes practically wrote themselves. A 3,000-year-old mummy trending online because of his reconstructed good looks? Only Ramesses could manage a posthumous glow-up that breaks the internet. The man clearly had a flair for the dramatic, both in life and in death. Some people are just born with it, and it shows. And if history has taught us anything, it's that every time we think we've heard the last of Ramesses II, he finds a way to pop back up, face first, this time. So hey, here's to Ramesses II, warrior, builder, god king, and now, high definition facial model for the AI age. If the goal of ancient royalty was to live forever, we have to admit, the guy might have actually pulled it off, dramatically. Curtains close. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you found this video informative and interesting, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on what the world discovers next. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.